Hey guys, welcome back to the Umbraco CMS Learning by Example project. And today, in this video, I would like to show you how to create the contact form for the website. Okay, so you can see here on the screen, I have the contact form for this website template we are using. Okay, and now I will go ahead to access into the Umbraco admin to create document type and the template for contact form. Okay. I go to the setting document type and now I will create two document type. The first one I will call it is the contact and the second one the second one I will call it is the um, contact content. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so back to the front end page. On this page, we have name, email, and message. So now we I will create three property in the admin. I will call this one is the content. User name. User name. I will select this one either text string text string and this one should be the mandatory field submit email text string mandatory field and the validation this should be email Take a real mandatory view and also validation is required. Okay, cool. Okay, so now I will create the back to home and go to permission. So now I will I will add the contact in the chipet of the home and the contact I will add the chipet. It should be the contact content. Okay, back to the content. I will create a contact. Contact earth. Okay, so now go to the setting. Contact add icon. Blue. 
ok contact us so now we are able to add in the contact content ok i will add something here for example editing Yeah. Okay. So now, for example, when the user are uh, on the website and enter the, the information here, and after that they click on the submit message button here. So we have to save the the the, the message and the user information under the list of the under list of the contact us here it like we have created a new over the Oracle admin here okay cool and now I will open the funnel okay I will open this um, setting first template the contact it should be using the web page tablet okay. same here okay cool and now I will open the visual studio short code and show the hidden file the contact and contact content right here by default, when you create an, a new the template over the uh, Amroco admin, so a new file should be will be created. But by default, when when the new file is created by using the uh, Amroco admin website, so it does not added into this solution. So you have to add uh, uh, so own of the file under the project. And after that, you have to edit manually. By that, select the file and click on this and include in this project. Okay. Save it. Now, I will open the contact content. Open this one first and refresh it. Yeah. Okay, so Chinbu here. I will. Open the setting. We have the contact content. Contact content. Look one time. Contact content. I will add something here. Composition. I will add a property e high page from navigation. Because when the user adding new the message, I mean submitting new the message uh, to the to to the site admin. So we don't want to uh, display the message on the navigation. Submit reorder chain order of tab. Okay, save it. Content chain huh. Save. Okay. This one should be go away. Okay, it go away for now. And now you click on the contact us page here. So by default, because for now we are using the uh, web by template, so the web by template we have the hit the header footer here. 
so it will display the content here and actually this one should be removed out of the footer okay i will do it by template footer okay footer I will copy this one but contact footer I will remove from here that keep the copyright information in the footer page uh, parts of you close this and I will open contact I will remove this one Okay, refresh this. Hmm. It look a bit, a little bit different here. The copyright it is here. Okay. And now we should do the validation for this one first. Okay, so now when the user left the form is empty and they click on the send message button here, so it will it should display the validation message. This one you require, 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 or something like that. Okay, I will do it here. I will open the admin pad, go to the setting content. Username. Uh, we can edit the text here. Email. Message. Okay, it looks the same. So now for this one, I will add the property required. one should be the email okay yeah you can see here uh, when we change a little bit of code so when you click on the submit a uh, send message here if you left the Take control if empty, so it will display the message if please fit out this field. Okay, cool. Same for email. And it will bow the text box here. Yes, you have to enter the, uh, the, the, the correct format of the email in order to pass the validation very good the same thing one for message okay so that's fine mm, okay so I think that's all for today uh, because uh, for, for now we still have uh, still not finished the work to save the content from the when you just submit the data into the Amroco admin but I think that's all for today and in this video today when you finish you know how to create the document type for contact and contact content and you will also know how to create the 
HTML for HTML for um, contact form and do the value validation by using the uh, the query. Okay. So in the next video, I will create uh, the model, and after that, we will save the content into the Amroco admin. Okay. So bye bye and talk to you later.